Hi everybody, this is Elaine Lung. Hi, and I'm Hansen Gu. If you've ever played the online game World of Warcraft or WoW, one of the first things you'll notice is just how much the game is driven by the sale and trade of various items. In fact, you could even say that much of the in-game economy resembles real-world economics. In this podcast, we'll be exploring purely competitive goods like nether weave cloth and the benefits of trade specialization in the game. Now let's join our brave adventurer, Economics, as she participates in her first epic battle with a wolf. I am mortally wounded. Where can I find the materials to make a bandage? Quick, help me please. Have no fear, you can go to the auction house in Ironforge and buy another weave cloth to make bandages there. The prices are fairly reasonable because competition drives them down. Wow, I am forever indebted to you. Thanks. On to Ironforge then. Follow me. When our hero reached the auction house at Ironforge, she found that the market for another weave cloth resembled that of a purely competitive market if we considered each player to be a separate firm. The products are standardized. There is no difference between the nether weave cloth sold by any player. And because nether weave cloth is so easy to find and you don't need any special skills to pick it up, anybody can pick up 20 of these, put them together in a stack, and sell them. The only real cost is the opportunity cost of having to spend time to gather the cloth. As can be seen by this auction house listing, there are many, many players selling this cloth. And notice that all the prices are almost exactly the same, differing by 5 to 10 silver between firms. The nether weave cloth market is a price taker. We interviewed one player, Nick Zhao, about his purchases in the nether weave market. So Nick, we were wondering, at what price do you usually buy your nether weave cloth at? Around 3 gold, 65 silver. What would you do if it sold for more than that? I wouldn't buy it. What about if the price were lower? I'd buy a lot more. So there we have it. If players sell the cloth at too high a price, nobody wants to buy it. If a player sells too low a price, the cloth will either be bought out so quickly as to have little impact on the sales of other cloth as demand is high, or profits will attract new players to the market. Besides, if you sell the cloth for too low, it won't be worth the opportunity cost of actually saving the cloth and taking the time to run or fly over to a city when you can use the time to do quests or use the money for other purposes. Marginal profit in this case will be lower than marginal cost. This illustrates how in perfectly competitive industries there is no long-term loss or profit. It always returns to its equilibrium price. In this case, around 3 gold and 65 silver for a stack of 20 another weave cloth. I have bandages now. I am healed. I love first aid. No, can't touch this. First aid, there are many other professions in the world of Warcraft. Now let's take a look at these professions and what comparative advantage it gives its users who develop a high proficiency in these professions. So Nick, what can you tell us about professions in the game of Warcraft? Professions are like trade skills or jobs that you can specialize in. There's like the gathering professions, herbalism, mining, skinning, which provide the resources for professions like blacksmithing, leatherworking, tailoring, and alchemy. So what is the point of having these professions? Well, you can specialize your labor, such as be a pro in potion making. It's cheaper for you to make it yourself than to buy it from somebody else or through the auction house. Well, if that's the case, wouldn't it be easier for everybody to specialize in all professions? Well, like the real world, you can't hold that many jobs. And wow, you can only have two main professions, so mutual trading becomes important to get what you want for the cheapest price. Wow, you're quite the expert. Thank you for your time. Yeah, of course I'm an expert. I'm back to potion making now. Talk to you later. First up, we have Sally. Sally's an alchemist and she makes bottles of super healing potion five at a time. For a five stack of these potions, it costs 15 gold at the auction house. However, for Sally to make with her ingredients that she gathers herself, it only takes her seven gold to make these five bottles of potions. Thus, Sally has saved eight gold by making it herself and specializing in alchemy. Next up we have Betty. Betty is a blacksmith and she can make mithril quiffs. The auction house price for this is 5 gold. However, with her blacksmith skills and her also mining skills, she can put together the ingredients to make a quiff for only 4.8 gold. Thus, she can save 0.2 gold for every quiff she makes. Let's pose a scenario. Sally and Betty both need to obtain 5 bottles of 
potions and one mithril coif for battle. Sally can make 5 potions for 15 gold and obtain a mithril coif for 5 gold. Betty can obtain 5 potions for 30 gold and can craft a mithril coif for 4.8 gold. Now to obtain the cheapest price for both items for both players, they need to trade and Betty should devote all her resources into crafting a mithril coif because she can do it for a cheaper price because she is specialized in the labor of blacksmithing. Sally, on the other hand, should devote all her resources to creating potions as she specializes as an alchemist. After they have uh, devoted both their resources, they can thus trade and mutually obtain the cheapest price for both items and obtaining their goal. And with that said, we've gone over the perfectly competitive market in WoW and also about trade skills and how they offer comparative advantages. Let's have a short review now of all the points we've covered today. Let's begin our review with perfect competition. First, there is one standardized product. Second, there is easy entry and exit by firms. Firms in this case are the individual characters who post their items in the auction house. Three, there are a large number of firms and four, they are a price taker and there is a perfectly elastic short run demand. Now moving on to comparative advantage. One, trade skills give the individual an advantage in production costs and efficiency. Two. Each individual should devote all the resources they can to producing their specialty because they can produce it for the cheapest price. And three, and to obtain all items for the cheapest price, mutual trade is required between players. That's all folks. We hope you had as much fun watching this as we had making this podcast. Thanks for watching. World of Warcraft is a Won't you join me?